Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Monk and Cloud. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can host hundreds of websites within few dollars, right? So I've hosted my own personal, uh, you know, website and also my, uh, you know, YouTube channel's website uh, using this platform, which is called as Verpex. And they are running a sale uh, right now, which is Black Friday sales, which will end in next 12 hours you are going to get a whooping 90% offer on your you know purchase so before that let's understand what are the different you know offerings that verpex is providing so they are providing a web hosting for wordpress shared hosting and cloud hosting personally i like this cloud hosting uh, because if you see here uh, there are three options one is bronze silver and gold uh, personally i re i recommend and i use this platform uh, called silver where you are going to host you can host 100 website with unlimited bandwidth and 50 gb of nvme ssd disk space and you can install wordpress with a single click right and the cool thing is that you are going to get a free domain for uh, you know just 4.5 dollars a month right which is cool and you can host 100 websites but if you have more money you can go with 8.25 dollars a month of uh, your you're going to get unlimited websites you can host hundreds i mean unlimited websites for free with ssl with migrations, with daily backups, and all those things, right? This is really cool. All you have to do is just click on start now. I'll show you the process on how to get started. I have already, you know, started using this, but I'll show you how you can go with this. You can see here monthly, you can go with 0.99 or as the sales period is right now going on, you can select any of these, uh, you know, options. And you can see here annually, if you go with this, uh, you know, approach, you're going to just pay $54, uh, which is less than a pizza uh, amount. And you can select the server location. Basically, they have their servers in all of these regions. And basically, I'm from India, so I'm going to select India. And you can provide any uh, you know name here. So let's say uh, the uh, devsecopslab.in. Okay, let's check if that is there or not. So if it is there, you're going to, if you see here, it is there, you can just click on register domain and that will uh, be registered on your name and you can just click on add basket. After this, you will have to fill in your, you know, details like uh, the address, you know, email address and things like that. And that's all, right? This is pretty, pretty easy for you to follow along. Now, let me show you how we can actually you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, deploy your website using uh, Vorpex, right? So as you can see, I have purchased my domain uh, monkincloud.in using this platform. And I've also purchased web hosting uh, for a month, right? So now what you can do is, uh, firstly, you can go ahead, uh, if you see the, you know, domain here, uh, you will have all the things and you will also have the name servers. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you that because that's pretty confidential. So I'm keeping that as is. Now, if you want to go back and see uh, the cloud hosting or the web hosting thing, uh, I've purchased gold uh, because I have few websites, uh, you know, which I want to deploy in future as well. So I've went with a gold standard. So uh, I'm using gold uh, website hosting. And if you see here, uh, you have the domain name and you have the account username and the name servers and everything. And the cool thing is you the control panel of this Verpex is really simple. So you just click on this login to control panel and it will take you to the page where you can play around with this. If you see here, you have email forwarders, email routing, uh, you have databases, you have domain options, you have metrics. For example, if you want to see how many people visited your website, you can check that. And you have the SSH access IP blocker. For example, if you want to restrict a particular IP, you can do that as well. Right. So there are a lot of functionalities. If you see here, you have WordPress, you have blogs, portals, forums, social networking, ad management, you name it, everything is being provided in this platform. First, to get started, let's go ahead and create an email account. So let me click on email account here. And if you see here, I have a domain which is already present. So let me click on create here. And I just need an admin, uh, you know, admin at the rate a monkey cloud dot in and I'll set a password for this. So let me give a password. 
okay so this is good and all you have to do is click on create and this will be created for you if you see here uh, they have created admin at the rate among in and for, uh, the cool thing is that you can check the email right here right so click on uh, check email and if you see here uh, you have an option or uh, they are using a third party tool called round cube and if you want you can click on this open inbox in when i log in and you can click on open this will open your email inbox if you see here i got an email saying that uh, from c panel i got an email this is the details about this c panel right so this is how you can you know uh, leverage um, Verpex as a email inbox for you right so if you do not want to pay you can go with this and if you see here you get 10 GB of uh, you know storage for your email account so if this looks good let's go back to the C panel now let's uh, go ahead and see if we can install or if we can configure SSL for this because all at the end of the day we need to deploy our website using uh, security and all the features that should be present right so let's go ahead and search for ssl and if you see here ssl tls is there let me select that and i'm gonna go with default here uh, i do not want to change any uh, encryption type here so all or the certificates type so i'll just click on save and that should be good if you see here the system updated your default ssl tls type auto SSL will try to renew your certificates, right? So this looks good. Now, what the thing is, if you host a website, if you, you know, host a WordPress site, it will have the SSL certificate installed for you and you need not install on yourself, right? So th that's a cool thing. Now let's check if the SSL is installed or not. So let me type in SSL again. And if you see here, SSL uh, TLS status, let me click on that. And if you see here, so it's already validated auto SSL domain is already validated for example if if these websites are not validated you can select uh, this particular subdomain and then you can uh, run auto SSL but the cool thing if you need note here f f along with the root domain I have all the other subdomains with SSL enabled if you see here mail at the right uh, mail dot monkey cloud dot in is also having SSL all the others as well right so that's a very cool thing because if you if you go with this approach this will this will make your life really easier right now let's go back and host a simple wordpress site right and also configure to use my own domain name right so let's go back as we have already using uh, you know ssl tls certificates let's go ahead and host a simple wordpress so i'll click on wordpress here and if you see here uh, with just a single click you will get your wordpress and the details for example the database name and uh, all the other username password all those things will be emailed to you right so uh, let me show you how to install it so you just click on install now and if you see here uh, as we have already started using https right or uh, we have installed ssl certificates let's go with https right so why should we waste that so uh, i'll just go with https colon uh, slash slash among in cloud dot in and uh, the site name you can name whatever you want but i'll keep it as is right so uh, what i'll do is i'll just go with www as well so let, let's keep it simple and it says a trusted ssl certificate was not found but let's go ahead and do that because we have already done that right so uh, if you see here you are also having an uh, username you also have a password so let's just do one thing i'll copy uh, if you see here uh, admin email name is admin at the rate among in cloud dot in so if you want to change the password you can do that but make sure you are hiding this uh, as this is just for a demonstration i'm going to show you this but uh, in real time when you are trying to deploy your own application you should not show the admin password so let me just copy this and paste it somewhere so that uh, i can log into it sometime later so let me scroll all the way down and if you see here uh, if you click on advanced options uh, it is asking um, you know the database name the table name and the backup location all those things and you can also select a theme for example you have different themes available but for this particular website uh, as this is a demo one so i'm going to go with the default one and if you see here uh, and it's also asking for an email where you will uh, you know get the uh, details so i'll just say uh, monk in cloud at 
gmail.com okay so this should be good now i'll click on install and this is going to take you know a couple of minutes for it to install if you see here it's already checking the submitted data and it might take for three to four minutes but it is not going to so much right if you see here congratulations the software was installed successfully within a minute and if you see here you are also getting a wordpress site and the administrator url right so let's click on this and see if uh, everything is working fine or not as i told it might take some time for it to reflect because uh, as you saw that uh, the ssl certificates were just getting installed and it might take some time so we need to allow some certain time uh, but after that once you have everything uh, you know configured um, it it will automatically open and you do not have to do anything and the wordpress site or admin site will also open using this link and you can start using the website right so uh, if you have any uh, you know questions or if you have any issues while doing so you can always raise a support case here if you see here uh, if you uh, just come over here uh, in support and you can click on open ticket for example i hosted a website and it's uh, not working so what you can do is write an email to them saying that this this is a thing i've tried this but it is not working and you can create a ticket and they're super super responsive you will get response with in few minutes and you can also attach the screenshots and everything here and and if you see here uh, as i told you you are also going to get the details about your wordpress site for example the db name the db user the host the password everything is provided to you here itself over an email so this is a cool thing that you can try out uh, because i really love this platform and um, this this is making my job easier guys that's what i can say and if you go back to the dashboard and uh, you you can see here uh, the invoices all the tickets that you open all the things will be provided to you here itself you do not have to worry about anything so this is what i wanted to show uh, in this particular video uh, if you're liking the content uh, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends and one good thing is that they are running a sale right now a black friday sale so you can purchase and you can start using this and what i'll do is i'll provide the link to the uh, website uh, or uh, you can consider that as an affiliate link if you're interested you can go ahead and purchase it so that's all i wanted to share with you in this particular video if you're liking the content please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one